we are live. Let me refresh. Make sure we are good to go. And uh, yeah, I don't. Looks like we're set. Looks like the camera's good. Audio is good. And everything is set. Let me see who's here before we get started. Uh, Rory, Matt, what's up? Manny Fresh, Steven, Big, Money, Mo, Lucky and Three Legs, uh, S A D B, Mr. Eric, Eric watches YouTube, Brian, what up? How sourcing today, Brian? Please let me know. Uh, let me back. see. We are back. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys see me? Yeah, we can. We can see the bee. We can see the bee. All right, all right. All right. We we're gonna talk to the bee right now because this guy's been out and about. Start typing your questions right now. <laughs> Just yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah, we'll answer some questions. We'll South Town. Things. See, there we go. Christian. Uh, let me see. Brian Northerson today had school. 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 There we go. A Baker cool. brand. Thank you, Baker brand. Always supporting here and on whatnot and on both. Appreciate you, sir. Uh, Eric D. B. Way to Hollywood for us now. Yeah, this awesome. guy's famous. This guy's everywhere. Hey, I'm um, here. <laughs> he's here, but yet he's still here on Wednesdays. Uh, Rodolfo, what's up? Uh, let me see. Fly Kicks, Ken Ellis. Uh, SA, the B is too expensive for us now. He's on another level. Uh, let me see. Rory, Matt, payment received that purchase. Thank you, B. You did it. Be the next owner of eBay. Partial owner. eBay Philippines. Oh, uh, it's, need it's going. They're going. I, I, I did ask that question. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see, sticker flip, fine, what's up? Select goods, yes, sir. All right, so let's get started. We got a lot of things to go through. B is going to go live on whatnot right after this so we can watch the B. Um, so he's going to be leaving a little early, you know, mm -hmm. good 10 minutes before. So we got a lot of stuff to get into. Um, Eric D, let me see. There's a tremendous amount of wealth on the right side of the screen. I mean... <laughs> Depends which one you're facing. <laughs> and Palma, what's up? Okay, let's get right into it. Right. Now, if you go to B's IG. <laughs> <laughs> Questioning. <laughs> right. It's like it? he's carrying a whatnot boom box. He's living the life out here with whatnot backgrounds. And then he's just straight up living the life on eBay campus with eBay folk out here. Not just folks. Not just yeah, regular. Not folks. just regular folks. He's living his best life. Mm -hmm. Now, questions for Hustle B. He at eBay mm -hmm. last week. He was not here on Wednesday. He was right. at eBay talking eBay business. Mm -hmm. So if we have any questions, let's throw them in the chat. I'm going to yeah. throw in a couple of questions first. I don't know if they could be yes or no answers. I don't know. Yeah. You tell us what you can answer. Yeah, I, I, I'll I tell what I can. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. Cool kicks. What up? Uh, let me see. Let go back up. RJ Funky Finds. I am more people coming in. Sneaker Flip Fine asks, is there any conflict between eBay and whatnot? That's what I thought going in there, right? Um actually did kind of like <clears throat> at first kind of like felt shy right because obviously a lot of the ebay folks followed the journey right so i mean if you guys know my foundation has been selling on ebay but i did ask them i was actually very frank with them and said like hey like just so you know i'm doing stuff with whatnot hope it's okay right <laughs> and they said and they said no it's totally okay it is your business and we'd love for you to do the best uh, on what you think uh, for your business is. And they said, we are just glad that you were able to come here and spend time with us. So, and nothing was was awkward. Uh, it was, uh, you know, I, very welcoming and, uh, you know, kind of felt like reconnecting back uh, with other people again that we've met throughout the time. So 
that was uh that was uh surprising but to be honest in how they said it right we're a business uh and there are multiple places uh or and platforms that we can sell because of the kind of inventory we have right so i mean it wasn't a secret that we've sold on StockX and Goat either. And we didn't feel bad about it, right? Um, I think a lot of it was just the perception of me doing a lot of stuff with whatnot. And we haven't done stuff with eBay because of the pandemic. But we've done a lot of stuff with eBay prior to whatnot coming. So, so it's all good. Next question. Did it ever cross your mind to go live on whatnot? at ebay <laughs> you're like now you're just I, 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 I almost did but i thought about like hmm, like my my badge probably might not work the next day so <laughs> we had some badges so um yeah yeah uh, yeah it did cross but uh hustle b was mature enough not to do it I'm very mature I like that. What a gentleman. Yeah. Uh, and Palma, will eBay have an updated or new rating system anytime soon? Um, so far, it hasn't been talked about. Uh, the feedback system and stuff like that. Um, nothing really. Uh, one of the things that kind of just like got refreshed was uh, as sellers, uh, I believe we have, you know, better uh, control of like kind of like fighting feedback that's not relevant to the transaction uh, especially sneakers right like they can not say like oh this is worn if it went through authentication and stuff mm -hmm. like that so we're covered better with that especially with the kind of a uh, category that we sell in uh naptown is ebay going to compete directly with whatnot so in other words did you have any conversation with live video auctions yes uh well I told Glenn that one of the most awkward things there is whatnot is brought uh, uh, as a topic every uh, every uh, department that we talk about, and and they say what do you think about whatnot and everybody looks at me right, <laughs> so um, I was able to give my feedback. Um, they are doing something with uh, live selling, um, but they haven't said anything about having a live auction there right because live selling is different from live auction um so uh we did see that they did a beta test before uh for live selling and uh you know it didn't do too well like even they have admitted that it didn't do too well so uh so you know the, the i mean the Jor uh jordan i uh, think i forgot sweets i can't pronounce his last name the vp of global eb global uh, he did mention that, um, but it is not, uh, you know, as big of a platform as, as, uh, as eBay. I don't think they didn't, they don't take it as a direct competitor. So they're also not like rushing to get anything yeah. done in yeah. that. So what are they rushing to get done to improve their platform right now, eBay? I think a lot of, uh, the projects are the mod uh i guess the, it's not modernization it's like really catching up to time right like <laughs> modernization is getting ahead <laughs> yeah it's yeah. not pushing now yeah yeah even just gotta get moved back uh so um one of the things was you know i think managed payments just kind of like finally have been rolled out i don't know what percentage have been rolled out but it's there we're finally in a uh situation where we're talking like hey, can we get our funds faster like we used to in PayPal? Mm. So those are the things that they're doing. Uh, simplifying the shipping options, uh, those are what they're trying True. to do. Uh, you know, because like we have so much option is actually not too good, right? Because you can only ship one package in so many ways. Uh, authentications have been, uh, you know, refined. It's getting refined more and more. So that's one of the things. Uh, they are trying to beat the com competition that does authentication through warehouse, meaning okay. uh, they want to get to the customer fast. So, right. so now it's more of a logistical logistical challenge on on how to get the items faster. So those are one of the things. 
and then uh, the the listing flow they are overhauling the listing flow to make it more simple especially for sneaker category so simpler and you're telling me this before that like the new way to list it's also yeah. way easier yeah. you said it was way easier you've already been listing with this right. new tool um yeah. but how are they going to convince do you think they're the biggest challenge is going to be convincing the old yeah. sellers to yeah. like change to find this for new sure. way of for listing sure. or like so currently there is an option to use it now like yeah. if a pago switch tried a new listing tool you can still go back and forth but eventually they would uh go to the the new one uh it's just a newer code it's just a newer uh system that they're using and so far we dove into it uh today we've used it today um as you guys have known it jc does the listing mostly so introduce it to her today and and it's it's been smooth so she's been using it uh, let me go back up and see um, Soul Empire. Do you ask eBay about authenticating almost all sneakers now, even beat five dollar shoes? So like, like we've yeah. talked about this before. Eighty dollar shoes going to authentication. Right, right, right. Yeah. Air Max Thea going to Air Max, like going to authentications. Like, yeah, not need. No, no, it's not needed. Uh, that is one of the things that I, I think one of the things I actually had extra meetings about this, uh, because I think it would bog down the system and also for buyers uh it's it's a delay and again um they've said that it's uh you know they're they're spending resources on authentication right because it's not on us right they're now i did say that i i actually me and jc screenshotted stuff and she's like hey send me that screenshot send me a screenshot so empire being one of the ones that uh was able to give that feedback to us uh, we were able to get that, like even like thirty dollar, like like used used shoes shouldn't go through authentication, and it's yeah. a waste of resources, right? Um, and then uh, now we're identifying like even Air Max two seventies shouldn't go, right? So so there are talks about. Uh, uh, I, I told him like he they asked me like what do you think is the the threshold? I said hundred fifty and over. And then 150 below, if you want, my, this is my suggestion purely. Um, if anything below 150, you want to authenticate, it should be an option to the buyer. True. And if they want it right, and if for for eBay, if it's uh if it's a a something that costs you, charge extra for authentication because now there's multiple shipping labels, right? Uh, so yeah, that is heavily like. Um, the, the guy was very nice and, uh, they were very happy. I mean, also too, like they haven't really gotten like a one-on-one -on -one feedback like that, uh, since COVID. Um, uh, so that's one of the things that I press like, Hey, like we're here, like, uh, me and Glenn Hustler hacks, like we're trying to, you know, pass down the, 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 uh, learnings that we get so that we could help, uh, you know, the whole community, uh, especially the. I call them like the hustlers, right? Like we're not enterprises. That's why I said we don't have a Shopify store that integrates on the back end of eBay that lists everything. Uh, so, so they they do realize that a lot of the inventory are coming from us. Yeah. Well, here's the problem though: is that like battling fakes is always going to be yeah. on every platform. Every and I, I yeah. tell I tell every like when I went live on whatnot or here, I say the same thing every time: whatnot has fakes eBay has fakes. Amazon has fakes. It's crazy. And not just shoes. Um, jerseys are fakes on all the platforms. Mm -hmm. It drives me insane yeah. because of the DMs, you know, on the fake videos that I made. I have it on there. Like, send me a DM, send me an email. I'll help you out if you think your jersey is fake. And mm -hmm. it's like yeah. every platform. It's crazy. Like, yeah. and so I don't know how any platform can battle that completely. But yeah. they're gonna have to try harder, I think, because we're right, just right. Getting, um, getting ripped off. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they they thought about like um, something about like a a uh, like a a percentage of like 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 smooth transaction. I think they were at like ninety five or something like that. I remember, but it's in the nineties, right? Like like, but they said they want to get it to ninety nine. That's their goal. 
um, because again, it only takes a bad experience for a customer to leave that app. So they know that they know how much they, you know, they have that number figure and how much it would cost for them to get, uh, you know, customer acquisition cost. Um, uh, to answer sneaker uh, flip, uh, to answer one of the questions there, uh, oh, Don Noho says a forty New Balance, forty dollar New Balance authenticated, and some are two fifty, right? So from from the from what they told me, it's it's like a learning uh, system uh, that they're trying to fine tune more and more. Um, uh, so like they have told me that any like for example a two hundred fifty dollar pair that doesn't go through authentication, that's a flaw on their system. Uh, so so they have told certain amount of sellers to bring this up to their attention so that they could pretty much dissect what's causing the issue. Um, uh, so yeah, like, cause like, you know, it, it brings up to attention. Like there are runners, right? Nike runners that are $275 retail. So you can't just exclude a certain category. So mm -hmm. that's why I think like the, the threshold of dollar amount, right? Like, are you willing to risk $150 and less and stuff like that? Um, and again, um, for like a buyer standing, right? Uh, for a seller standing, now it would hold more value, right? For example, like they would be more comfortable buying from you because you have X amount of feedback and 100% feedback rating. And I'm like, okay, I'll trust this guy, right? To a point I even said like, why, uh, why not give access to certain sellers that have good standing of having like a VIP or expedited, uh, uh authentication pro uh uh authentication lane so they have they have said that they've looked into it like a uh like a fast pass lane pretty much right mm -hmm. the package is coming from me and you and we've done x amount of volume throughout you know every month then you get like a priority lane or stuff like that so because their goal is to get it to the customer fast i know we're getting a lot of um mm -hmm. comments on the immediate payment which mm -hmm. i mean so what do they tell you that it's coming soon that they're working well, on it or like right, what's it's out it's on beta right now that's why okay. we we all don't have it like like i have gotten offers i mean so did the chat they brought it up but it's on beta so it's not mandatory throughout everyone yet so i yeah. think um i don't know what has to do with on the back end stuff of i know legality of like you know putting your payment and pre-charging your card or something like that uh that's one thing that I wouldn't understand either but yeah it's on beta so it's a matter of time because they own the manage uh, the payment system now um it will be all accept offers yeah i think that's that's crazy that it's taken this yeah. long in general yeah. um yeah it's and i and i think it's only because through managed payment if they've have stuck with the old payment processing system it wouldn't be done <laughs> yeah oh man all right um there's different other questions in here. I know it's kind of tough because I know we're like limited on time since, you know, we're only mm -hmm. going like 50 minutes. Yeah, but we've talked about we're, we're doing a, a, another segment, you know? Yeah. So we're definitely going to be doing like a whole eBay thing too um, that we could we could do soon on the live. Um, we do have, we're going to go through fines today as well. Uh, we still have to go through some of the eBay listings and some of these fines. So we have a lot of stuff to get to, but we'll definitely talk to B soon more on ebay stuff and see what's going on all right let me remove this all right we'll go quickly on mm -hmm. to full screen leo where are we remove there we go all right some of the newer stuff that's coming out some of the releases j balvin now includes slides do people care september 15th we already know on the jordan 2 300 dollars Jeez. And they do light up. But they light up though. And then the slide, 70 bucks. And just comes with matching apparel. I don't see anything with this thing lighting up on the slides or oh glow in the dark. Oh, glow in the dark. That'd be helpful at night. <laughs> that seems about it. And then some of the uh, J Balvin branding on there. Uh let me see. What about and then there's different clothing as well. Should we just wear this at SneakerCon? You just wear the blue one or the black one? Yeah. <laughs> 
So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what's going on with all this stuff. Oh, they got the green one too. They got the green one too. All right, next one. Women's oh. Travis Scott. I'm not gonna lie. I like it. Oh, uh, is this needed? Sail um, black is the colorway. To be honest, though, they haven't done this high colorway. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't done this colorway. It's, they haven't done this unique colorway, so we yeah, we definitely so, need this. Like edgy, you know. <laughs> there we go. There we go with the Travis. Next, LeBron twenty in Miami Heat colors. We're seeing more photos of the LeBron twenties, and actually, a lot of people are liking them. You um, like them? I think they're dope. I don't know how they feel on court. It seems like a lot of people are liking them on court. Yeah. It's so like I'm out there playing basketball all the time. Right, right, right. right. It, but it kind of like makes me feel that like the KD flying it vibe or like the Kyrie style. Almost uh, like they started to care about basketball shoes again. Right, right. <laughs> like performance now, right? Let's, uh, let's make the lightest flying it shoe uh, like they did with Kobe 11s and stuff like that, right? Yeah. What about 200 though? Oh. Does that no. change? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll wait till hits back wall because oh, the current the ball is all over the internet and back wall for under a hundred bucks. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So so yeah, it is it is on LeBronish intramorph. I agree, like Kobe, <laughs> like Kobe, Kobe rip off. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited for the Thunder? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Twenty twenty three. No, I mean, I mean, I've said it. Like, I'm just trying to, you know, like, I'm just gonna have to stay true to the brand, uh, and collect cool uh, black and yellow colorway shoes. So, I, I vibe with that better than the Lightning Force. I, I don't know why. Like, I, I thought the Lightning Force was cool, but this one's better. Two ten, which will be next summer. Let's see how the uh, sneaker game is then. Yeah, hustle before retrospective gear. <laughs> Until they come out with like a really crappy suede. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, going oh. into this week's releases. Damn. Supreme Blazer Mid. And that will be tomorrow. A three pack. Oh, one of the best Supreme Nike collabs of all time is a three pack of the Blazers from 2006. Yeah. So Quilted not, uh, Execution. Not that one. Yeah, <laughs> not that one. What about the brown like sword? It looks like a third. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's not even one color too. It's like a from afar, it looks like you know, like you landed on a twisted your ankles and landed on poop. And there it is. Oh, Dookie. And we also have Penny. More pennies releasing again. More <laughs> like soul fly penny or something like that. They're just gonna pump out pennies. Wow. Continues its string of Air Max penny retros for 2022. Trash. Next, New Balance Olive Leaf. No comment. Skunk vibes. <laughs> Sk huh? 200. Hey, don't be laughing at me like. I, I, I think um, I'm about to, like, start testing out New Balance. Oh, start rocking New Balance. Okay. Yeah. Um, feet and these are nice, as I say. <laughs> feet started to hurt. Feet, <laughs> but not for 200 Yeah. I have to be from Burlington. <laughs> uh, more dunks. Medium olive on the women's dunk low. Non-SB, of course. I like that. It's clean. clean it's shoe. clean, right? That'll be on uh, Friday morning. I, I think it's a clean shoe. Yeah, big money mall. Hundred percent agree. Twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> new balance. On the new balance. <laughs> a Marshalls. Uh, would you rock these? Oh. <laughs> uh, look at that tiny little uh, swish Who's right there. The camus. Homara. One seventy. So following the exclusive release back in June, it's getting a, a wider launch on the sneakers app this weekend. Cream and brown based colorways. 
Awesome. Naptown says dunks are dying. How does the chat this, feel? Yes or no? This what resell on this car is good? Dang, I didn't even know that. Finally, dunks need to die, says SA. Uh, why even out a swoosh? <laughs> yeah, it's gay swiss 100%. <laughs> 170 for that gold swoosh. For, yeah, for that. <laughs> That branding extreme meh coo kicks. Oh, they get two different colors. No, it <laughs> works. <laughs> <laughs> and for anybody that's eating uh, right now and watching, apologize for ruining your appetite. <laughs> <laughs> apologize in advance. Okay, so let's get into it. Jordan 3, Fire Red. We mentioned it a little bit before. Now, here we go. Here's the photo that we get. To 10 September 10th. What are your comments? What do we believe? But why? But why did you get the nicest photo though? Well, that's just what uh, Complex is posting. Here. They're doing. They're showing the best. That's like the OG. That's like the OG elephant print though. <laughs> the new one don't even look like that, right? What does it look like? This chat, chat. Fire Red 3 Classics, Fire Red 3s that we did talk about. Um, remember the 2013 and the twenty and the 2007? They're yeah, right yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talked about the elephant print. Okay, that's what it is. Uh, comparing it to that. Okay, so going back to 10. Right now. Smaller sizes. My size line. Retail, baby. 224, 227, 229. My size 248. Looks really? like uh the bigger sizes are doing a little bit better before release. Yeah, I mean I, I and this is the thing. I don't know if Nike's doing it intentionally, but a lot of the sneakers have uh have been releasing overseas ahead of time. Um yeah. so yep. we've been getting overseas spare in. And I've had multiple chances of buying this for 250, which I think is reasonable. It's just I I, I ha actually haven't bought them because I just didn't want to go out of my way to meet up with a guy. If somebody brought offered shipping, I probably bought it for 250. So, uh, I don't know. Chat, do you guys, do you guys, are you guys excited about this or do you guys want to <laughs> grab them? Maybe for personal. I know we have a lot of OG heads here um chat how do you feel um we know big money mo is going to get these in the back wall because they're going to hit the back wall because we're going to see this price go down even lower on release yeah yeah and that's yeah, when as yeah, a said he's glad he's pre-ordered them from zadi so he doesn't have to worry about <laughs> he doesn't worry about it. yeah grab five for the closet mr eric uh let me see definitely caught for the personal big yeah money like mo. This is when you you know this is when uh your flex gift card comes in clutch. <laughs> I, I Ready just, to I, go. Yeah, I just I just purchased a, a Georgetown six today for fifty dollars off, baby. Oh, uh, see, there we go. Right. Uh, personal for sure, and as many as I uh, as I can hold. Let me see. Uh, definitely personal. Any big sizes, twelve and up. Retrospective gear. Um, so that's where we're at right now. I mean, let's see on Saturday when they release. Um, could it have been the elephant print? The, or or is it more to do with new release sneakers not hitting like they used to? Yeah, that, What's going I on? I, I, I don't think like the leather is even close to the BC3, the white part. Mm, I think okay. it's closer to the iris that's very plasticky. <laughs> All right, let me remove this because, let me see, very uh, funny and interesting on the post. Let me see. And let me see what the chat thinks. Is this true or not? Is this it? Let me see. No. Oh. So Nice Kick posted this. Visual res uh, representation of resellers selling to other resellers <laughs> to keep the prices high. <laughs> so chat. <laughs> I'm going to let the chat comment. And B and let's see what B thinks. Chat, yes or no? 
Here's the funny thing is like, I mean, you went to the last two or three sneaker cons. Mm -hmm. And I mean, is anybody buying for themselves? <laughs> Everybody has a camera and is a bulk buyer. <laughs> That's all it comes down to. Yeah. A lot of people had cards, cash in hand with a videographer in the back. <laughs> Be like, yo, 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 can I cash you out? And be like, okay, okay, okay. Hey, 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 film me, film me. <laughs> yo, yo, how much for this? How, 360? How much if I take all? Oh, bet I'll take it all. All right. So right now we just cash out Hustler Hacks, five grand deal. Shout out your Instagram. <laughs> I know. Bye. Oh, that's perfect. That That's perfect. The, the comment that I get all the time. Like, how come you and B don't film at SeekerCon? Because that's the lamest stuff we wouldn't want to show <laughs> like that is is cringy too like i actually don't yeah yeah, yeah. like <laughs> i mean like if if glenn if they would film even me unlike what you've seen me buy they would never sell to me again <laughs> that's the funny part is like hustle be and <laughs> Plus Rags, Big Money Mall, and everybody else, and they don't need to be doing that. That's the thing, though, is like everybody else has their separate eBay stores doing other things. Yeah. And uh, I, the hype game, this is technically where it's at right now. I mean, I do agree with this post. I think this is exactly where it's at right now. And until this thing starts falling apart, you're really going to see a big change after this. And it's coming mm -hmm. soon. We don't know when, but I think it's it's coming very, very soon. And like, like I asked you, like, I don't see anybody really buying for themselves when we go to the sneaker cons. Yeah. Like I was looking for Mamba Citas for myself, but I yeah. didn't see anybody really going like, Hey, what can I pick up? Cause in my size and a size 10, I'm really looking for UNC fours right now. Yeah. They, they, they don't even give Glenn a deal. They want to rob. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so, I mean, we try to be as smooth as we can if, if, we see a little crack, we'll pry it open and get a deal and steal. But without that, I'm like, it's not worth having to pack this all up and bring it home. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let me see. Um, how do we... Oh, there, there we go. I'm trying to hide messages. <laughs> uh, let me go back up. Oh, uh, hype bees are cringe city. Hype game trash right now. Cringy how they talk. Like... So so drippy, drip, drip <laughs> game. <laughs> oh man. Okay, let's go to uh, some of the finds out there. Which <laughs> Josh Leva, I think it's hilarious when I saw the post. Let me get this a like right now. No, uh, <laughs> two and a half. Well, oh, no. so here's here's the thing that he's saying. Oh, he found oh. two half vapor max. So this is super smart. Whoever's doing this, unzip this thing and took out the actual pair, which is really what you want because it's a fire black fly knit vapor with mask. blue bottles. I mean, you don't need any of the. Uh, you don't even need this metallic condom thing that's on it. Yeah, two half. <laughs> Dude, yeah, those are better reminds, without it. Exactly. Sneaker dude, flip this fine. reminds me of like that Vince Carter shoe back in the day. Oh, the zipper? Yeah. Yeah, Ross and Police got outsmarted. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so I have some of those sitting on ice. Weird sizes, though. So we're going to talk about this and look at the uh, listings. Um, oh. See what else is going on out there. Kyrie's. What? Those weird funky finds. How did it go to this one? Oh, maybe you changed a no, different photo. Go right? back. Go back. It's on uh, primary. Once you click it, went to the second photo. Click it. Oh, there yeah. we go. 50 bucks. I seven on the yellow. Uh, the Kyrie's. Um, UCLA Bruins. Jordan on the camo at Ross. Oh, wow. High nice snicker deals. There we go. Um, next, Mile High Hustle. All passes except for the last pick, which Mile High Hustle. I think he's around here somewhere. He's out here flexing. Look at this guy. 
on all of his finds. Oh. Mile high. Or is that guy? Damn, you got like, is that untouchable? Like Air Max 95 collab looking? Oh, yeah. Like black and gold, right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, guys, you know, my in work. <laughs> you ready for Q4? All the basketball? That boy's ready. Uh, let's see. Interim more found one of the yellow pair, sold almost immediately for 140. There we go. Uh, let me see. Let me go back up on uh, so the Kyrie's on uh, that one. I don't know the size, and then the Air Max 90, which we're going to talk about this shoe actually. On the listings, would you rock this? Oh, this Terrascape, they're actually clean looking. I actually looked into it. Um, I did fit the Air Max Plus, and they fit good. Are those like the Terrascape? Yeah, Terrascape, yeah, 70 yeah. bucks. They, they're actually lighter, a lot lighter than the real, the, the, the regular ones. So good for speed, you know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, there we go. Let me see. Oh, this is um, oh, Goodwill. <laughs> I think I don't think this is a, a Ross find, but Jordan jerseys were versatile. Uh, sneaker flip find, and then more of the GT and the Kyrie's. And Do then like people are liking the Kyrie's for who, huh? Yeah, oh, definitely. Arizona finds more of the Vapor Max 80 bucks. We're going to talk about that shoe, too. We're going to look at listings today. And let me, oh, there's another one here. Mile High Hustle, of course. That one at nine and a half. And let me see. Sourcing Code, Fear of God, NBA Warm-Up, Outlet Finds. Back wall as well. Uh, to legit, haven't found the GTs anywhere. Surprise, haven't come across any of the GTs yet either. Intramorph. And uh, more Adapt have been showing up too. 80 bucks. Uh, that one, I don't know what I... Oh, there it is. Uh, size 4. But it is complete with box and everything. Was it Big Money Mower who told us that there's going to be a lot more Adapt okay. coming out at Burlington? Uh, more golf as well. Mendez finds on the Nike Golf. Um, are adapts worth anything without the charger? Asks in, uh, Intramorph. Mm. Um, also got some LeBron's funky finds and a size 12 and a half, 80 bucks. And then Katie's again, 12 and a half. Mm. Mile high hustle. Yeah, so I, I did find this at the outlet. Uh, a lot of them at the outlets. And all of a sudden, because I was waiting for them to go down, I think they sh they pulled them off the shelf and then just liquidated them. For what? Adapt? No, no, the KDs. I think oh, the, the KDs. They were, it was like 119. Mm, okay. And then they never went down and they never hit the hash and they just disappeared. Unless some crazy guy just bought them all. But I, I doubt it. Um, our boy Slim Pickens, 80 bucks on the LeBron's 11 and a half with the gum bottom. All right. B's got like a good 10 minutes left with us. So let me uh, remove this real quick. And then share screen. All right. All right. All right. Let's go back here to eBay. So ISPA on this Vapor Max. Now, We've seen different colors. We saw the blue one. We saw the black one. The blue one, I believe, was what two years ago, two and a half. Um, now the oh, black the insides are different. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, the inside is different. So the blue one. What's the old one? Oh yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. It's like the reverse. Yeah. Yeah. So now we get the uh, black one there. So. Oh. Would you? Here's a question for the chat, and maybe for the B two. Would you take a photo? without showing that thing or would you do maybe one in one like this one or would you yeah. show it like this i would no no i'd never show it with everything on <laughs> no. <laughs> that one, one has both i mean one thing for sure is not on i think i like that guy in the bottom right this one 
the bottom right yeah yeah i think i like that one okay like one in the background with it showing the yeah, full yeah. thing and then with the front that one. makes okay. it interesting like why is it like that because the 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 one in the guy that has both up top right the stock photo i think yeah. you're like it's like for me it's like am i buying two pairs to shoe Mm, okay so that would be a clickbait right like i get in there it's like oh two pairs for 150 oh not really 150. <laughs> not really two, so. there you go julian b likes my photo oh. too legit that's some trickery <laughs> I, I mean it's a i think it's a good question because i mean uh, look at this one right here i mean this one's a stock photo but oh dude I never it doesn't help that. the cause though because people could yeah. get confused though yeah i would never touch that I mean, it is a nice looking Vapor Max under under this mess. It really is. Yeah. But uh, let's look at sold and see what's going on. Um, ended recently. Let me see that one. Floor photo. Hey, one sixty nine best offer. One eighty nine. <laughs> and they left the thing on, so that one didn't matter at all. Uh, let's see, one seventy, one twenty nine. On the stock photos, that one, 149, 119, 140. Has anybody been passing on them? That's the question. Or maybe it doesn't matter. They're $80. Um, maybe it matters with size. To be honest, though, with the winter coming up, will this make it waterproof? No. I don't think <laughs> so. It still could go in the bottom and then get to the shoe, right? True. I I mean, like you've seen me. I love Vapor Max, so I might cop one of these people that are selling it for one twenty. Mm, okay, bees ready. Send Let's see, Mister Eric, I need a nine. Yeah, exactly, Mister Eric. There's a nine for like one thirty right now. Uh, let me see. They should be water resistant, Julian. Um, I passed. I'll oh, pass on a size fifteen. Um, looks like. A 119 and buying for 80 crazy vintage profit <laughs> which i think yeah i think 119 is has to be the lowest i would think listed on here yeah yeah like these yeah um, so legit you can remove it you can remove the outer shroud yeah because that shroud is still showing the back heel yeah that back heel is the vapor max let me look, i just want to look at this here. one yeah um let me see I think that's good to show it. You know what I, I do like about this one is showing it without and then showing it with. Right. Just like, because uh, without, it just looks way better. Yeah, that one's just an extra, right? That's, that could be just considered an accessory. Yeah, true. It's pretty clean, though. I like that black, the black fly knit. All right, let me see. <laughs> you could remove it and go raw dog looking on three legs. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Oh, he, oh, I hate wearing condoms, so why would my shoes want to wear them too? <laughs> so, like, goods, these guys are wild. <laughs> Next. All right, let's go back. I don't know what, what our listings were last week. I should have looked at last week's video to see where we were at. 220. Um, 220 results right now. Okay. And let's look at solds just to see. 280 sold man they want this shoe yeah b loves it b loves the stats i love that like 100 percent, over 100 percent sell through in the last 90 days if the is stats it? is right if the stats are right right buy it now and it would sell out within 90 days or do you wait until After a lot of these are gone maybe christmas time that's not far away. Dude, Couple let's months. record this. I think, prediction, this will be like close to 400 by Q4. I'm okay. Like this you huh? heard it from the B. You heard it from the B. I, I, I mean, I, I agree. It's, it's going to keep good. going up. I mean, especially because more of them are selling at this I price. I mean, if they're willing to pay this price now with that much supply, I I mean, this, this trend would show you that it could hit 400. I could definitely see it. And see, A-Train says, hold those GT cuts because the GT cut 2 is trash. Oh, exactly. 
So that's usually what happens, right? It's like sometimes like the older version is better than the newer one. And the people want the older one, especially for a basketball shoe like this one. And I was telling everybody else too, this is more also like an international basketball shoe that does well. Yeah. Internationally does really well. So this is. Right. Euro, Euro League uses them. Like yeah. I think Olympics, FIBA, it's up there. I mean, even women's like Sabrina UNESCO, right? This is the yeah. shoe that she rocks. To play. Mm -hmm. Um. I think it's just a good performance shoe. Like, heck, might as well get get in on the action. Then let's let's buy one whenever we take our walk. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, so two twenty four, two forty nine, two sixty nine. That one went on auction two fifteen. These are the ones that ended recently. 202 on bid. It might be the lowest that we've seen on here. 202. Man, if only someone who was selling these on whatnot, they could just start buying them. <laughs> no you know, they would go cheap. 800 for... Was this like a lot? Or just one? Uh, let me see. 229. Oh, 195. That's definitely the lowest right now. Yeah. 195 and the 20 shipping. Booker, where's them? I didn't know that. I Hopefully know either. not, because next thing you know, Booker chokes and the stock <laughs> go down. <laughs> uh, so right now, hey, three got added since we started talking about it. Uh, best match right now, 218. Oh, as a size six and a half. So, all right. GT cut, look out for them. I don't know how many. I didn't Dude, find too I, many. I thought, the, I thought the people were just making it up. I thought the chat was making it up like rodacious. I thought that's like a new hip term. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. That, but it was, it's actually the name of the yeah. shoe. Man. <laughs> yes, that's sir. when you know I haven't found anything. At the <laughs> like, Miles. Like, people talking raw dog and now rodacious. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, they're making this up. Yeah. All right. People said people were sleeping on uh, the KD14 on the Ant Pearl. Um, resellers are sleeping on it. The other one's Ant Pearl and the other one's KO. Mm, okay. Look it up. It's Yeah, they're two different. Okay, let me see. Well, even on these Ant Pearls, everyone's kind of priced pretty high. So the other one would be like the... Uh, a, let's see. So this is the one that people are finding at Yeah, Burlington. see? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ant Pearl is worth more. There we go. Not the Ant Pearl at Burlington. Yeah. Um, so 272, uh, 272 results on here. Okay, that's the Burlington find. This is the Burlington one. Yeah. Unreleased breast cancer awareness. Maybe, maybe that's the story. Maybe they didn't release... And then just went straight to discount. It could be. Or outlets and like you said, like a little mix. Yeah. Um, Intermar said he passed because of the weak comps. Um, it's a no for these, a train hustle. So let's look at comps on here. Um 272 results and comps are 76 right now. Uh 129, two of them at 129 sold. 100 139 170 um and they are 80 bucks i believe right i trust kd's big money mo uh 120 130 so it might be one of those you kind of sit around a little bit for them i mean they're definitely selling at the 120 plus but size comes into play might be a little patient on these yeah, there's going to be undercutters to let them go first. All right, before B leaves, our last one, he said he liked them, the Terrascape. 141 results. And I don't think there's too many of these at Burlington anyway, though. No, 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 no. I don't think so. I think it's just kind of a random, maybe people finding them here and there. But it looks like people uh, have them listed with box more than um, anything. They have been uh, seen at outlets, though. Mm, okay. Yeah, I think if they're seen at the outlets and you're still paying premium at Burlington, that's a tough call. Yeah, I see Big Money Mall. How much? What's sold on this? Oh, they're cheap at the outlets at Big Money Mall. Uh, what's the cheapest you saw them, Mo? 
Let's see what solds look like. 148 results, not bad by style Ooh. code. Yeah, that's and uh, 159, that's a good one right there. 159, 134, 155 again. I think this is a solid $120 shoot. 120 to 130. I guess we just don't know what the price or what what's the cheapest people have been finding them at. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were 60 when I found them. Select goods. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw the white one today for 70 back wall. So. Mm, okay. I didn't pick them up because it had some marks in them. Mm. I think complete with box, if you're getting them cheap at outlet, that's a, I think that's a pretty good. You're paying like 50, 60. That's a pretty good deal. Complete with box, good size. I'm all for it. Now, Burlington picking up like 12 and a half. Yeah, good size. Only, only good size. I think. Yeah. All right. B's going to go. Peace out, guys. See you on my show. We got some hype and some shock drop. See you. All right, B's running heat. All right, we'll see you. All right, he's taking off. So we looked at a couple listing there. Anything else in the chat? Um, I'm working on Ross Burlington. We'll see what video I put up for Friday. Um, anybody else picking out anything else good that you've been seeing at the outlets? How have your outlets been? Man, ours, for some reason, it's like we're just getting two 70s in different colors for men. Uh, but we're not seeing anything else like some of these Florida outlets with retros, even the B-grade retros. I'm all for it. But we just haven't gotten, gotten anything uh, anything that great. Eric D, you're going to get Big Money Mo on the show. Yes, we got to get Big Money Mo on the show. I know we kept saying it, but I've been dragging ass. I, that's on me, though. Uh, we love Mo here. Uh, let me see. Outlet was whack even for the Labor Day sale, Joanne. That's, so how was yeah? How was the Labor Day sale for you guys? Anything good? Anything, or is it just kind of flooded, same old stuff? Uh, the storm is coming to your outlets. Uh, all right, I'm 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 ready. Uh, my outlet backdoor is everything. A train hustle. Uh, let me see. Would you buy the GT cuts at resale to hold till Q4? Um, with Mark, so what I would do is, I would we talked about this last week. I would definitely send offers and see who would bite for like, you know, that hundred forty range. I bet you somebody would, and they'll definitely be over the three hundred by then, by the uh, Christmas time. So send some offers and see who kind of bites. No one bites, nothing to lose. Uh, but I think that's a I don't know. See what happens there. Oh, there we go. Retrospective gear. Have fun out there. Vacation. Wife B day. Nice. Uh, you think 140? If someone would take it, I don't know if they would. I mean, everyone's pr- uh, priced at 200 plus. Maybe the ones that are like that 195 range, if they're asking for offers, could happen. In Palma, we found a Jordan GS all under 50, military black four. There we go. 12s and some Jordan six. Uh, Armand, Basic Dunks, Jordan Ones, and uh, Brotherhood. There we go. Uh, let me see. Uh, you got to be there all the time. I went twice today. 40 pairs total for the day. Big money mo. Uh, let me go back up and see. Found some Air Max, Burlington, but women select goods. And... Let me see. I've been sending offers for GT cuts, taking offers. <laughs> I know it's a Ross quick flipper. Exactly. <laughs> uh, let me see. All right. Anything else? Any comments? Anything you want to talk about? What about football? Hey, football tomorrow, huh? Who's ready? Anybody selling good stuff right now? Got all their football stuff listed? Making good sales across all platforms? That's all, that always happens, like bandwagoners. Well, once teams start winning, too, we'll see who's going to jump on those teams. But usually when season starts, people just start buying, you know, the hats, the hoodies, the the jerseys, the tees. They're ready. Um, SA, how's the wife and the baby? Doing good right now. Got an appointment again tomorrow. So it's more appointments than anything now that it's getting closer and closer to crunch time. 
Uh, I saw RJ Funky finds a bunch of salute to service caps. So NFL hit eight Burlington, starting to get Adidas football, more Adidas football. Interesting, because I know young kings have been eating out there. Some of you young kings. Uh, let me see. This is your boy Tua's last chance. <laughs> yes, sir. Especially with the weapons around him. Uh, let me see. Let's make a deal on a Darnold Jets <laughs> jersey. Ross keeps getting more of them. I'm like, where are these coming from? Uh, I want to find some salute to service jerseys. A train hustle. Uh, sneaker flip final trade you my Panthers Bridgewater. <laughs> Uh, jerseys have been flying out the store. Sold 37 today so far. They're ready. They're ready for a football season. I got some brown stuff stashed waiting for Deshaun to come back before I list vintage. He's going to get booed hella. Like, well, he already has been when he came in for preseason. Browns fans are just hoping this guy does good. Because, yeah, he's pretty much... Uh, Everyone's just out there just waiting to grill him for everything else. He's a heel at this point. I got some Newton Pats salute to service ready. <laughs> there we go. Some um, Baker Mayfield Browns I need to get rid of. Um, are you high in the Dolphins? I'm ready. I'm ready for fins. I've been ready for the last 30 years and I've been let down. I say 30 years because I was probably a fan at like six or seven. So that's how long I've been struggling with this, waiting for this team to do something. It's been bad. <laughs> so like, I know. <laughs> we can't just jump on every team bandwagon, be like, oh yeah, Rams. All of a sudden, big Rams fan. No. Nope. We've been loyal. I sold my Mayfield the week they made the playoffs. That's, I should have done that. Now look at him. He's with Carolina. I have to just sell it for cheap. I think he's playing Carolina, right? Week one? Browns are playing Panthers? Uh, Rams from St. Louis. Uh, my Cowboys aren't going to do well. Let's see what they do. I really need uh, Cowboys, Niners, Raiders to do well. I think that's how the most stuff listed right now. Um, how do you get on whatnot, Joanne? So um, you can, I think actually if you use, no, I don't know if that would work out better. Uh, send me a DM on IG and I could send it and it should get approved sooner than I got approved. <laughs> Uh, Niners would make me happy, Josh Lee. But yeah, hopefully they do well. I got more stuff to sell, and if they start sucking, it's going to be bad where the stuff just sits. Vintage Profit, why not ask for my ID? Did they ask for ID in the beginning? Hmm. Uh, let me see. Passing on those boroughs. And, oh, I know, right? Those were... They were priced a little bit higher, and then people were like, uh, I don't know, Bengals, bro, jerseys, and then now it's like Bengals, everything. They're selling quick last year and this year. Everybody just riding that. Let's see how they do this year. Those are now $150 <laughs> jerseys. Some people would be like, Joe, uh, you know, Joe Burrow, rookie jersey. Because I think it was, now they changed their jerseys, but not a big change, but still. All right, we are done here. Uh, we'll go watch the B, ship out some stuff, list, keep listing out there. Uh, get everything listed. Now is the time anyway. Uh, we didn't get Yarzloff on here. Where is he? We got to talk markets, housing markets too. Why? Because I'm kind of curious on... Like the reselling for sneakers. We talked about hype sneakers. How is that going to come into play for everything else? Housing, cars, market in general. What I, what I, me and B talked about, I want to see how the market is in everything after this Q4. I truly believe this is our like final chance to make as much money as possible on selling. Um, 
this Q4 and Christmas time. And next year, I think it's going to be interesting on what happens on things. Oh, Yaroslav's all crashing now. Uh, heart, hype sneakers, hard to sell right now. Housing necessity sneaker is a luxury, but markets do correlate. Oh, there we go. Um, stick to regular Joe items. That's what I truly believe too. SA, I like it. Um, uh, Jay dropping price after release. Yars Law 100% next year will be very bad. Stocks and dunk low investments. There we go, Mr. Eric. So, that, I don't know. Let's see what happens. But I think, yeah, list everything you can right now. Get everything ready to go. Go through your inventory. Let's push it and be ready next couple of months. I think it's going to be good. Fast selling, pre owned electronics have been pushing cash flow, Mr. Eric. It's about to get as ugly as a masterpiece sneaker. <laughs> Eric D. People are looking for under. For under retail, Mendes finds 100%. Right now, people are looking for the deals more than anything else. It could be hype sneakers. It could be everyday items, regular Joe items, as they said. Regardless, people want the steals and deals. And if you can offer that and you're very profitable still, which we've seen the past season market, like in Ross and outlets and all of that has always done well because you're getting them for cheap. Exactly, select good, mostly deals. Everyone's declining me a 140 offer on GT Cuts, track star. All right, keep trying and let me know next week on the live if anything came through. All right, and big money mo. Oh, cash reserve up. <laughs> there we go. All right, we're done. We'll go watch B, and I'll see you on Wednesday, next Wednesday. And, of course, I'll get a video for Friday. I don't know what yet, but I'm working on it. All right, see you guys. Take care. Go out and get it. See you.